A stake to the Chateau star Dick Strawbridge detailed how the Queen's eyes lit up when they were introduced. Dick Strawbridge, 63, met Queen Elizabeth back in 1993 when he was presented with his MBE. Although he is now best known for his television career alongside his wife Angel, Dick received the honor for his work in the Army which spanned two decades. Reflecting on his interaction with the late monarch, Dick revealed the Queen's eyes lit up when they were introduced. The escape to the Chateau Star said, the Queen said, Ah, Major Strawbridge, what did you do in Northern Ireland? And I said, I can't actually say, ma'am. One of her aides whispered in her ear, and her eyes lit up. She instantly knew who I'd been working with and what I'd been doing, he told the Irish Mail last year. During his time in the army, he was part of the Royal Corps of Signals and was a lieutenant colonel by the time he resigned in 2001. On his decision to leave, he added to the aforementioned publication, I was on my way to becoming a general and knew I wouldn't be getting my boots dirty anymore. I didn't join the army to do a desk job. Leaving the army also allowed Dick to concentrate on his television career after making his debut on Scrap Heat Challenge in 1999. He then went on to appear on It's Not Easy Being Green, Planet Mechanics, Coast and the Hungry Sailors alongside his son James, 38. Dick's most loved TV venture is of course Escape to the Chateau, which continues to be a huge success more than six years since it began. It follows Dick, his wife Angel and their children Dorothy, 8, and Arthur, 9. Before Angel, Dick was married to Bridget Weiner and they share James and his sister Charlotte, 36. Chef James recently launched his new series, Strawbridge Over the Drawbridge, which sees him visit country houses to learn their histories and cook a feast for the owners. He also appears alongside his family on the current series of Escape to the Chateau on Channel 4. In a new interview with Express.co.uk, James opened up about the differences between the chateau and the stately homes he has been visiting. He said, when you go to the chateau the work being done with the renovation is quite quick compared to when you look at a house with a 500-year history.